going to get some swell in a minute. <laughs> yeah, we're in Baltimore, in Baltimore Harbour, and it's a working harbour. Um, I did say on my way here that I was expecting like uh, some sort of golden haven filled with yachting delights and pleasures, but I was probably going to get, you know, smell of dead fish and trawlers. Um, <laughs> I'm glad to say Baltimore's turned out a lot better than my worst prediction. Is a working harbour and you get big ships like this coming past and it's just one of those little hazards isn't it? It certainly is. Um, it's been one of those places that Beverly and I have been wanting to come to for absolutely, absolutely ages. <laughs> um, but um, when uh, we arrived it was just get this engine fixed, get the engine fixed. Yeah I mean we, we we, we came in through the slot, we picked up a mirroring buoy because it was quick to pick up a mirroring buoy, you just simply grab it and you're on it. And then we went from there. But the engine appears to be working, we've moved the boat around the harbour a few times and everything seems to be fine, doesn't it? Yeah, we um, went on to the harbour um, and they, what they've done is they've converted an old boat mm. into a floating pontoon and um, it means that uh, yachts can go alongside it. About four yachts. About four yachts and a smaller boat. On the end, on what would be the hammerhead if it was bigger. Yeah. Um, uh, other than that, it's uh, rafting. Yeah. So other people rafted to us. Um, and there was another boat that had somebody rafting on them. So four boats without rafting. Yeah. At the marina. There are washing machines and toilet and uh, toilet facilities, and shower showers, yeah. facilities, as well as uh, good bins. Although sometimes they do lock the bins up, so you do have to talk to the harbour master if you're going to use the bins. Yeah, there's a fair sized dinghy dock as well. It's a massive dinghy dock. Yeah, and um, Baltimore town itself. I mean, I think. You looked it up and there's like uh, about 100 people live here or 300 people live here. It's, it's a low number like that, isn't it? Um, in, in 2016, there was uh, 111 people who lived here. Yeah, so this Baltimore is considerably smaller than the American Baltimore, which everybody knows a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> which has probably got about 112 million in it or something <laughs> stupid. Yeah. I don't know. It's a huge number, but yeah. this one's not got many people. Yeah. Um, as a result, it doesn't have much in the way of a shop. The shop it has is a small local shop. You will pay local shop prices. It's got a fair selection in it, don't get me wrong. But if you want a major shop, you've got to get the bus to Skibbereen, which is 10 kilometres away. And the bus costs about three euros per person each way. That's what you're going to pay on it. Uh, the advantage of uh, going to Skibbereen, though, is Skibbereen does have a Chandler. It has a Chandler, yeah, a fair size Chandler. It has uh, an Aldi, a little, a cost cutter, and a super, I'm not doing cost cutter, a super value. Uh, and a Euro Spa, so oh. you've got lots and lots of choices Choice. for your shopping. We were very lucky to bump into a, a couple of people who watch the channel, so thank you Derek and um, Eileen. Elaine. 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 Thank you Derek and Elaine. Um, who very kindly offered us a lift back, so we overdid the shopping. <laughs> Certainly did. <laughs> Since we have, didn't have to bring it back on the bus, we actually... <laughs> uh, when uh, we went to the Chandler's, uh, I did go to buy an Impella, um, because, as you know, I'm using one of our used Impellas. Mm. Now, I have since been told that if you are going to use Impellas, like I have, which have uh, already been used, you should mark the outside of the impeller so that when you put it back in, you keep the outside to the outside so that the spleens are going the same way as you've already pre-bent them. Yeah. Bas uh, basically, if they're pre-bent, if they've come out and slightly bent, don't bend them the other direction. It just weakens them, you know, try and keep them bent the way they were the first time. Yeah, but if you mark the outside of your impeller when you remove it, then you won't have an issue with that. But it's just a little fact that I found Suppose out. Suffice to say, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't, so I'm hoping they're fine, but... Uh... Well, so far everything's looking good. We're getting lots of splashes and we have a dry engine. Which is, what more can you ask for? Yeah, exactly. So, um, we're just pondering our options for a few day sales from down here. Um, 
we're still cursed by the southerly winds. I mean, we, we couldn't get out of Bangor and come down the Irish Sea because of southerly winds. And then um, we had southwesterly-ish winds coming along the coast in a sort of generally southwesterly direction. And now that we're here, we have still got southwesterly winds. So. Now, <laughs> eventually, when we start going up the... Yeah, they'll probably come round to the north, <laughs> They'll come they? round to the north, but... <laughs> so we're going to go for some day sail, so hope you enjoy those. Yep. hoping to do some sailing but it's a bit rockier than um, it looks from inside Baltimore um, also the tide uh, we chose the wrong type of tide we've got uh, it completely wrong whoa <laughs> yeah basically we came out just after low tide and we were only in the 112 oh it's going to be fine but I tell you now one twelfth of tide just at the entrance because it narrows. It was. Uh, it's already stripped two and a half knots off our boat speed. Yeah, it's stripped uh, quite a few knots off our boat speed. It's cut it in half. Mm. So, uh, some more thinking and more planning. But I think the current thinking is to turn around, hoil the Jenny out, and just seal back in. Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I was going to do a piece. Okay. Oh, you can turn it off for now, and we'll do it when we get the uh, coffee done. Or you can oh, do it. I'll do it now. Okay. Well, as always, it's not quite what we was expected, but what the heck. Not Hey! Successful seal! <laughs> Beverly Class is a successful scale any time that the coffee pot comes out of the cupboard. Anyway. <laughs> because all we did was go out and come back in again but um, I um, sailed into Baltimore because Beverly had had to do it um, and sail through the entrance and any time that somebody picks up a new skill or tries something different then we make sure that the other person uh, basically can do the same because you just never know uh, what's going to happen when you're out there and um, you know the more knowledge you have the better <sighs> well we made it back in time for coffee <laughs> which is always pleasant Gators downstairs getting yourself changed into something a bit more summery and I'll probably do the same after I've had my coffee uh, but mm. is there a coffee upstairs? yeah coffee's just here I'll budge up. Here you go. Make your space. Shorts. Hey! Shorts! I've got my um, Prudence hat on because when I was wearing my clipper hat yesterday it nearly blew off my head twice and this is this is windier today than it was yesterday. Mm. So I don't fancy repeating the experience. I've still got my, my jeans tucked into my socks because I was going to put my salad bets on because it was freezing out there. Mm. But I feel very happy about the little tests that we've done with the engine. Mm -hmm. We've done like little incremental tests mm -hmm. from here to the um, uh, pontoon, pontoon back to the anchorage. <laughs> and now out through the slot. Out through the slot and back again. But what we really discovered today is for doing fast net from this anchorage, we really need to leave here between high tide and low tide so it carries us out rather than beating us to death. Um, then by the time we've done fast net and come back, because it's, it's right about 3-4 hours all the way around and back again, um, we'll be arriving after low tide has happened here so that the current will carry us back in. Yeah, but we should hopefully be able to do that. And uh, you never know, hopefully a good day sail. Yep, hopefully. So we're back in here and um, we're just going to see what the weather brings. So we're going to have a relaxing day, do a few jobs. Beverly will be video editing. Probably. I'll also be cooking. I've got some chicken in Aldi, so um, that'll have to be cooked. Yes, you never know. I might have a big bolty.
Oh. After all, we're in Baltimore. Okay, small misconception here. <laughs> Apologies to all our Irish audience. For the rest of you, here we go. Gaelic word for big is more, M-H-O-R, or M-O-R. So generally, if you see something like more in a word, or in the English version, more, like Dunmore, Dun's an old Irish word meaning town or townland, so Dunmore, big town, get it? This is Baltimore, big Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> Except it isn't. No, it's the not. More, the more in this word is just obviously some English version or whatever. The, the Gaelic version, uh, I forget what it is now, uh, but it's a three word thing and um, it's not sadly Balti dash more. It would have been nice. But we might have a Balti more, a big Balti, and it'll be our Baltimore from now on. It certainly will. Like, like Rick and what's your name in um, Casablanca. We'll always have Baltimore. <laughs> So, let me just get this, uh, get myself sorted. I'm probably not in the right place. Oh, you're fine where you are. I'll, I'll ah, so look, Baltimore! Yay! Yay. <laughs> I'll have, um, pork plates. Well, not much is happening on uh, Salty Lass, but I just wanted to talk to you about, um, one of the things that we did when we were doing our domestic stuff uh, at the pier uh, and that was we changed the water according to um, a particular website uh, we've been sailing through a hard water area and that means that our kettle was furring up and um, we used the Fire as little as possible um, but we're now in a soft water area so what we did was we basically changed all the water as much as we could well the tanks were fairly well down they were fairly well down because we've just been using the water and we've just been using the kettles for heating purposes and then we've been getting showers um, you know at the marina like for instance at Kinsale we got a, a shower so that's what we were doing whereas now we're in a soft water area so we change the water there's not a breath of wind today and we had hoped to go out but we are going to go out and we're going to do a very very short motor because we're going to go and motor into one of my fantasies but there you go Not much you can say to that.